We used to do Yahoo Answers on this show, but then that this website got suffocate, suffocated, killed, yeah, got eaten. shut down and deleted off the internet. So we, we've this is a, a nascent segment, I would say, um, fresh, and it's very exciting where we approach the wizard of the cloud and we look at questions on WikiHow instead, and we learn things instead of... When Yahoo Answers, it was just, uh, you know, mystery atop a mystery. WikiHow yeah. is like a, a, a teacher. It's like a teacher that comes to teach you things. And mm. today's WikiHow is him. Kind of like Nanny McPhee when you think about it. It's basically Nanny what? McPhee. What? Yeah. yeah, it's like Nanny McPhee. It teaches you lessons that maybe you don't even realize stuff. you're learning. It's like Dr. Parnassus. Just like and Dr. Parnassus. Jessica and Mr. Megorium, which I haven't a seen. A lot but of I, them. Okay. Uh, this is a subject. That's near and dear to I think all our hearts and is how to mosh in a mosh pit. Thank you. I've always been I've always been curious about the level of violence that you are supposed to bring to that sort of encounter. Yeah, and I've is, always been worried I'll get go. in there and fling myself at like a ten, and then they'll be like, "Whoa, dude! Whoa, dude! Fucking stop! We're fucking on like slip, a three! <sighs> fucking slip knot on stage! Just like stop! Stop the rock music! Look at that guy did a big hit! Get the Fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, this is a shared experience. Yeah. Mosh so, like that at uh, home. The, the first few things are preparatory. Preparatory. What? Preparatory? Pre proprietary. 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 <laughs> Griffin invented them just for this. Uh, step one. <laughs> These are patented. Wear clothes you don't care about getting ruined. Wear old, worn clothes or a cheap outfit you don't feel attached to. Clothing can get easily ripped or stained in a mosh pit. Spelled how? Wear, Spelled what how? if I wear what if I wear my stained t-shirt? There you go. Yeah. That's a very it's a risk that you can <laughs> What's stained? I mean, it's a bummer. It must be a bummer to get a go to a stained show from the band stained. Yeah. And then later you go to Wiener Schnitzel. Right. And you're yeah. having yourself a nice hot dog. Yeah. And then you la layer it up with all your favorite topics. Your moose right? darts, your, your first, catsups. Everyone be quiet. Okay. And then your first <laughs> fight, I got this. And your first fight, ketchup and mustard squirts out onto your shirt. And you look down at your new stained t shirt that you bought at the concert earlier. And you think, I can never express this to other yeah. people. Yeah. I'll never be able to express this situation. Hey, what the happened to that new show shirt hasn't you evolved bought? evolved enough. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's stained. Oh, I know. Yeah. I was with you. No, no, no. It also said that the, the very next step is actually don't bring big bottles of mustard into the mosh pit. That's, uh, that's okay. rude. Hey, um, as as someone who grow up, grew up like listening to music in the 90s and stuff, is Stained one of those bands that was like, sounded like really hardcore, but was actually secretly a Christian rock band? Christian, I don't know. Probably. I, I think probably Puddle of right. Mud is? I don't um, know. That feels right. All right, wear contact lenses instead of glasses. Uh, yes, yes. Avoid wearing loose jewelry or accessories. Partially, I think, because they get, that you don't want to get choked, but also because of... Mosh bandits, and we well, know. Yeah. <laughs> mosh and I wanna, man. <laughs> and, and I don't want to point fingers, but I do remember one time Justin went to a rock concert and came back with a beeper that wasn't his. You want to talk about that? Oh my god, what? Do you not remember I don't that? Remember this? No, tell me more. You went to a concert and you said you brought. Maybe this was a lie. You told your brother. Maybe you bought a beeper and you were embarrassed about it. But you said you found a beeper on the floor at a rock concert after a mosh pit, and you brought it on home. Which is fantastic. I know that one time I traded in enough Pepsi points to get a Mountain Dew beer. Yes, that, that wasn't did. it. I did yeah, do that. That happened. wasn't it. I think this is a different situation, though, it sounds like. Okay. This seems like the kind I don't of thing remember you would... this. Oh, my gosh. Uh, make sure your shoes are tied. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. Wait for the mosh. This is joining the mosh pit. This is where we, this is where the fucking rubber hits the road. Wait for the mosh pit to open up. Yeah. Mm. You'll know like, it's getting be, ready to will start. Will there be a signal or? Well, Travis, you'll know it's getting ready to start when the performer announces it or other concert goers begin to make a clearing near the stage. Probably not the first one. Okay, everyone. Okay, everyone. <laughs> On it's three. Me. It's me, Jeremy Slipknot. And I'm, I've got the, the red flag here. Wave, wave. Begin. Begin, <laughs> begin the shoving. There is a, uh, a flaw with the second one, though, which is if you're waiting for other people to start the moshing, then oh, what if yeah. everybody's waiting? You could be a mosh okay. pioneer. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, finish your drink. If don't bring a drink. Duh. Enter the mosh pit once you're ready. 
Yeah, don't be yeah. surprised if people are pushing you and bumping you as you get to the edge of the circle. If you don't want to dive right into the mosh pit, stay at the edge of the pit for a little bit and observe until you feel ready to enter. What's the number of people standing on the perimeter of the mosh pit staring intently yeah. at the people moshing that makes the people moshing feel uncomfortable? Like, at what level do you, even though you're jumping and feeling the vibe of the music and hurting and pushing and shoving and hurting, other people, are you like, I can't ignore the fact that there are just like a dozen people looking at me? Well, I think w- much like the me. bean question, we can start with if it's just two people moshing, that's a romantic or at least very intense what is emotional the sound experience. Of two people moshing? <laughs> that's that's like a, a wedding's first dance there, right? You don't want to yeah. interrupt when two people are moshing together, you don't want to interrupt what they've got going. Now, as soon as a third party enters, right, now the energy I think is spread out as such that you need a fourth person to balance out, or else inevitably two of the three are gonna start mosh- moshing together while the third is excluded. Oh, God. Yeah. You need to share the load with uh, four. Um, right. At which point then it just is going to escalate from there. That's right? going to snowball for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, start moshing. Jump up and down in place. Make a lap around the pit. Have both your hands open and your arms up at about chest level. That's a cool look. That's probably not true gently push people or bump into them it's okay to push people around everyone's in the pit expecting it but remember you're not there to hurt anyone avoid elbowing anyone in the chest as for some people that can be quite sensitive if not painful i would say most people yeah unless it's like fucking colossus most people getting elbowed in the chest is gonna feel that not gonna feel Mm -hmm. not gonna feel good keep with the pace of the music and those around you cool off with a breather during slow songs oh Oh, yeah one of stain's slow songs and be (laughs) prepared for every be prepared for everyone to start moshing harder once the music picks up again okay cool this is this is i know you're thinking i'm definitely gonna hurt somebody like somebody's going to get hurt here not if you follow mosh pit etiquette the next segment one stop and help anyone up should they fall yes that's 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 true in life as it is in mosh yeah if you see anyone fall down and you're close to them it's a good thing to do in general regardless of whether or not a bunch of sweaty uh yeah but butt rock fans are, i would say it does become down nearby it does become especially important when that is happening yeah pick up dropped items and hold them above your head is this anyone's beeper nope <laughs> bye <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how to transfer service on a beeper so i guess i'll be answering doug's pages that was the biggest mystery to me um if you see anyone's shoe or cell phone on the ground stop and pick it up the image that wiki has provided which if you've never been to the website is always good is somebody very happily holding a shoe above their head and i like to think like i get into the music right you all know me i like to ride those vibes but if my shoe comes off that's <laughs> priority number one at the very yeah. least it's going to create a physical imbalance in your body yes. you're going to notice yes uh don't throw things in the mosh pit yes thank you yes. that's good or the and sand don't pit. try to don't try to mosh with people who aren't in the pit. Get in here! Hey, yeah, don't hey. try to start an ancillary mosh pit. That's a weird. That is a that is a weird sort of state of mind for the person who's like, I'm the edge of the mosh pit. Mm-hmm. Th- this mosh, no mosher. Mm-hmm. I hate this mosh pit. I'm. I hate this mosh pit. I'm standing guard of you. I won't let this. I won't let you pass. See, I thought that this was saying, don't try to start a secondary mosh pit at a different location in the audience. Like you're like, yeah. you know mm-hmm. what? I don't like that mosh pit anymore. They observe rules I don't like. I lost my shoe in there. No one held it above their head. Hey, you, you're you're a beefy f- person. Come, mosh you're with on me. My team. What? <laughs> we're, we're a rival mosh. I just really want to watch the show. Begin jumping. Oh. We're a team now. Squid game, hurt them. <laughs> um, Sick of them. Stank ironically. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone Stank begin. Stank ironically. Uh, don't bother the venue staff in the pit. Oh, yes. man. You're shoving too hard. Okay. I'll stop. That's what they're there for. They're there to be, you know, in charge. They're the parent of the mosh pit. You need to, yeah. they're, hey, they're not doing it because they're mad at you. They're doing yeah. it because they care about you. Yeah, I got to say, that's the last sort of tip here. If I'm, like, in it, if I'm, like, if I'm skanking it to Hoobastank yeah. and mm-hmm. really riding the vibe, yeah. and doing a lot of pushing and someone tells me hey you need to stop i don't know that that sort of like you know primitive just in my soul 
instinct, Tamash is going to be able to be contained at that point. Oh, that's so interesting, mm-hmm. Griffin, because if I was moshing at a concert and someone told me, you need to stop, I would assume it was my inner monologue saying, yeah. like, this is done This now. is not your thing, Travis. <laughs> that should be- hey, Travis, I think you and I can both agree you're forcing this. That's The venue staff should not be there to police the intensity of people's moshing. They should be there for folks like me who they see me like very nervously start <laughs> walking in and they just grab me by the scruff of my neck like, no friend, no friend, this is not for you. We actually have seating over here, secret seating that we didn't tell anyone about, but it looks like your human body might need it. Yeah. Hey, why don't you go buy a t-shirt, huh? A nice yeah. t-shirt and then maybe head on home. <laughs> this is a funny joke. That somebody asking the questions, the community Q and A. What do I do if somebody starts doing the macarena whilst in the pit? Goobity goo. <laughs> the community answered. The community answered. Nobody would do the macarena in the mosh pit. Only mosh no is one. done in a mosh pit. What if the person uh, does what I used to do at middle school dances, which is they're too awkward to dance, so they just kind of sing along to the song in the middle of the dance floor? Yeah. What if they? What if someone tries to make a big holding hand circle in the mosh pit? Yeah. 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 What like if they, oh, they try to do that, like, and now we're going to highlight individual moshers. We've created a mosh circle. Now you get in there and let us watch you mosh, mosh by yourself. Mosh train. Yes. yes. I'm into that. Anyway, now we all know how to do this. So let's all go to a rock concert together. And, yeah. Uh, man, that would be fun. That would be fucking I'd fun, like dude. That. I'd love yeah, to man. Push. What's like, stopping us? That. Well, a lot of stuff. <laughs> Where to begin? <laughs> what do you mean? Where to begin? Our bodies. Uh, oh, the- this should. Um, this is actually good to talk about. Uh, we stop in the mi- like just when you're really starting to have fun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know what you're thinking. This is an advice show. They've done very little advice. Well, we're hanging there. There's a lot more. Well, coming are just around the bend. We, we take a break to do advertisements. And what is great is if you can like frequent the businesses that we talk about. And, and we, yeah. we make it awesome. funny. We're not like some of those other advertisers. Yeah, don't skip them. It's not a robot or something. It's really the guys that you love already. And we're kind of like the Geico cavemen of podcast commercials. We're like, okay. fuck, that's right. funny. Okay. Cool. That's funny. Yeah. Cool. So, um, oh, I, I begin this by, I say, let's all go to the money. Yeah. 